While the season is always nice and colorful, the thought of it always reminds me that winter's coming. Either way, seeing Sodor in this setting is pretty. Today, Gordon was being given the special task of taking Sodor's first mayor on a tour of the island. Nice. But with that said, who would take the express in place of Gordon's absence? Everyone wanted to be chosen, but the Fat Controller chose Emily. When the Fat Controller left, Emily was very happy, but Gordon wasn't impressed. The Express is the longest passenger train on the island. And there he goes, boasting about how great of an engine he is compared to anyone else. He mentioned how he crossed the island twice before tea time, something he felt Emily could never do. Jeez, what kind of a pep talk is this? Thankfully, our Sterling engine felt she wouldn't have any issues. She was looking forward to taking the Express, but it was very... Very heavy. Bus, my buffers. She gasped as she slowly pulled out of the station, but she pulled away too soon and left the brake coach behind. Emily puffed with all her might. Oh no, girl, you're already off on the wrong wheel. Thankfully, it didn't have any passengers on it. However, the more Emily moved from station to station, the more impatient she became. She wanted to be, as the title to this episode stated, as good as Gordon. One step at a time, you'll get there. Edward went as fast as he could, but it wasn't fast enough for Emily. Hurry up, slow coach, she cried, or you will make me late. Edward felt sad, but Emily just steamed on. <gasps> you did not just insult Edward, Emily. I cannot believe you did that. If Edward's old slow coach, then what on earth does that make Toby? Or even worse, Trevor? Oh, she better retract that remark. She even blew off Bertie, who unfortunately was late after getting a flat. I swear, though, Bertie can't be the only bus on Sodor. We saw his brothers and or sisters in season one's Thomas and Bertie. It doesn't matter if you are late, she said. You must wait your turn, said James crossly. Express trains don't wait, said Emily. And she left without taking on water. Well, after seeing what happened to Spencer in Season 7's Gordon and Spencer, I'm pretty sure viewers know where this is headed. Besides the fact that it's common sense. And as vain as James is sometimes, seeing him put Emily in her place was a unique standoff. But as expected, right before Emily was about to deliver her passengers, her haste laid waste. She huffed and puffed, but she had no steam left. Finally, Emily came to a complete stop. The Fat Controller arrived on board James. And nor was he happy either to see Emily in her condition, mainly because she didn't bother to refuel, left Bertie's passengers stranded, and left her last coach at Knapford Station. Ah yes, a laundry list of problems. With James taking care of everything else where she left off, Top Hat instead had a new proposal for her. Now I need an engine to take the slow goods train, said the Fat Controller. Emily had an idea. May I take it, sir? She said. If I promise to go slowly? The Fat Controller thought it was a grand idea. The slow goods train needs lots of patience. Huh. Interesting way of pronouncing that. Lots of patience. Obviously, it's based on Angelus' interpretation of the character, but it's still cool. Either way, Emily was pleased with the idea and took the job. That meant fixing all of her mistakes, including peacefully letting Edward go through his crossing again. Thank you. Redemption has been met. She stopped at a signal. Thomas was waiting there. I am learning patience, Emily puffed. But if only I could learn it faster, she cried. Thomas had to laugh. I'm sure many people would want that. This was a nice episode. As one of the later additions to the show, Emily needs more episodes about her. Throughout the show, several engines have stepped in to take Gordon's express train. And this shows that Emily can do it too, no matter what Gordon's opinion is on it. Of course, it's been another learning curve for her though, since she's not used to being in command. Thus, she's still working on her bossy flaws. I'm just glad she was kind to Edward after her first altercation with him. The rest of the episode was good too. Since this was an Emily episode, the music heard was mainly her theme, which has always been one of Ed Welk and Robert Hartshorn's strongest and most memorable cues. The visuals were also nice, being in the autumn setting. 
from the intersection to Holland Crocka Canal, Maithwaite, and Kelsthorpe Station. All unique reoccurring locations. Next episode is Fish. Thanks for watching. Thank you.